Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Simona and for today I have a short but fiery, dynamic, powerful yoga flow. It's more of an intermediate level, so less cueing and moving a little bit faster through the poses. So if you're brand new to yoga, I would suggest checking out one of my other more beginner friendly classes on my channel, which I'll link up here in like a card where you can click on the playlist and check out some of those classes. But otherwise, if you're ready to work hard and sweat through your body a little bit, then let's get started. So we'll start in a downward facing dog, getting straight into it. Lift up through your hips and allow yourself to just take a few breaths here. Maybe pedal through your feet. Start to connect with your breath. And then let's lower both heels to the right toes, point to the left. Sink your hips back as you bend your knees, stretching through the left side of your waist. You could even begin to lengthen that left leg finding an even greater stretch along the left side of the chest and rib cage. And then come through center, toes point to the right, heels to the left, bend your knees, send your hips back as you press through the hands. And then maybe straighten through that right leg, sending the hip back as you reach through the right fingertips. Deep breath in, deep breath out and back to center. Inhale, reach your right leg straight up to the sky, bend the right knee, open the hip. Three circles with that right leg in the air, make them big and expansive and slow. Feel the hip moving in the hip socket. One more. Let's reverse, circle in the opposite direction, slow with control, warming up the glute. One more circle. And re-extend the leg. Let's square the hips down and then open the hips, keeping the legs straight. Square down and open. You'll feel that left hamstring starting to stretch. One more, open the hips, bend the knee, and now let's flip the dog while thing foot on the floor behind you, drop the hips and then press into the feet and into that left arm to lift through the chest, lift your hips, expand through the chest. Slowly come back to downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing on the other side, left leg, reach it up and back. Bend that left knee, open your hip. Circle through that left leg. Three big, slow circles in one direction. Being mindful of your hip, of your glute. One more circle. And reverse, opposite direction. Hopefully you're starting to feel that heat rising up in your body. Nice. Let's extend the left leg, square your hips down. Reach the left leg higher and then open the hips, keeping the legs straight. Now let's square the hips again and then open the hips. One more time, square and open. Now bend that left leg and let's flip the dog while thing. Lower that left foot behind you, drop the hips down a little bit, then press into the feet, press into that right hand as you lift your chest, lift your hips, open up through the heart. Deep breath in and out and back to downward facing dog. Three spinal waves. Inhale, come onto your, the balls of your feet, round through your spine, come towards plank. Then bend the knees, arch your spine, send your tailbone up and back as you send the hips back into down dog. Two more times, around your spine as you come on the balls of the feet, transition forward towards plank. Then bend your knees a little bit, arch your spine, tailbone moves back and up, downward facing dog. One more, inhale, round through your spine, come forward towards plank. Exhale, bend the knees, arch your spine, tailbone leads back and up. Very good. Inhale, right leg reaches up. 
Exhale, right knee taps right elbow. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, right knee to nose, hold. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Ground down through the feet and inhale, rise up, high lunge. Two breaths, sink deep into that right leg. Reach actively up through your arms. One more. Open out, warrior two. Drop the back heel, expand through the arms. Two breaths. One more. Reverse. Flip the front palm, reach up and back. Stay deep in your front leg. Reverse warrior two. One deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Come up, extend the right leg. Lean forward, reach forward, triangle pose. Hand on your shin or on the floor. Reach up through the left arm. Two breaths. One more. Press down into your feet, rise up, reverse triangle, reach up and back. Two breaths. One more. Cartwheel your arms down, frame the front foot, lift the back heel, step back, plank pose. Drop the heels to the right, side plank, reach the left arm up to the sky. Breathe here. If you want, you can stack the feet for slightly more intensity and breathe. One more. Lower the left palm down, second side. Come onto the outer edge of that left foot, stack the, the feet if you want, reach the right arm up to the sky. Three breaths. One more. Slowly lower the right hand down, square through your hips, open the feet hips width apart, take a breath here. Exhale, Chaturanga, bend the elbows to 90 degrees, untuck the toes, press into the hands as you lift up through the heart, upward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Left leg, reach it up and back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, tap it. Inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, left knee to nose and hold. Squeeze the knee to your chest, inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Ground down through your feet, reach your arms up to the sky, high lunge. Sink deep into that left leg. Reach actively up through your arms. Two more breaths. Strong through the back leg. One more. Lift up through your chest. Open out to the right, warrior two. Extend through your arms. Recommit to the lunge in the left leg. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior two. Reach up and back with the left fingertips. Recommit to the lunge once again in the front leg. Deep breath. Slowly come up, extend through the front leg. Lean forward, reach forward, inhale. Exhale, plant the left hand either on the floor or onto your left chin as you reach up through the right arm, triangle pose. One more breath. 
slowly press down into your feet to rise up, flip the left palm, reach it up and back, reverse triangle, front leg is straight. Two breaths. One more breath. Come up. Cartwheel your arms down, frame the front foot, lift the back heel up, step the left foot back next to the right. Lower down on your forearms, forearm plank. Stay strong through the core, draw the belly in. Strong through the arms, shoulders over the elbows. Deep breaths. One more. Lower the hips down, lift up through the chest, Sphinx pose one breath. Press through the hands, lift the elbows up off the floor. Lower them back down, lower the chest down. Hands either side of your chest will lift up into upward facing dog. So rise up, thighs off the floor, lift through your chest, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent job. Inhale, right leg reaches up and back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, right knee to nose, one breath, hold. Inhale, press into your hands. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Straight away, drop the back heel, come up warrior two. Deep breath in your warrior two. Right forearm on the right thigh, left arm reaches up and over side angle. Drop the right hand if you want on the inside of that right foot. Keep reaching forward through the left fingertips, chest leans back, two breaths. Another option is to find your bind. If that's in your practice, if not, don't worry. Just stay as you are. Inhale one more time and exhale. Now we're all going to come up, forearm on thigh, left arm extended forward. Inhale, and exhale, come up, reverse warrior two. And forward, forearm on thigh, left arm reaches up, and then once again reverse. Two more times, lean forward, reach up and over, and reverse. One more, lean forward, Reach up and over and reverse. And good job. Now find half moon, plant the right fingertips in front and on the, to the right of the right foot. Transition forward, lift the left leg, square the chest to the left. Extend the left arm up. Breathe. Now let's reach the left arm forward alongside your ear and we'll crunch the left elbow to the left knee in front and then re-extend. Crunch left knee to elbow, extend. Two more, crunch and extend. One more crunch and extend. Square the chest down, half split. Lift up through the left leg. One more breath. Step the left foot back. Step the right leg back if you want. Hovering plank, so three-pointed plank. Right leg is hovering. Really strong here. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale if you want. Three-legged chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, left knee to nose, one breath, hold. Inhale. Exhale, step forward. Straight away, warrior two. Rise up. Forearm on thigh, lift the right arm up and over. 
deep breath. Now if you want, left arm down, left fingertips on the floor or left palm on the floor on the inside of that left foot. At the same time, keep opening through your chest as you reach the right fingertips forward. Good, breathe. Option to find the bind. One more breath. Release the bind if you had it. And we're all going to come back up, forearm on thigh. Right arm reaches forward alongside your ear. Take a breath. Now rise up, reverse warrior two. Reach the left arm up and over. Come forward, forearm on thigh. Reach right arm up and over. And reverse. The whole time the left knee is bent. Two more times, reverse. And side angle. One more, reverse. Side angle. Well done. From here we'll find that half moon, left fingertips forward on the floor in front and to the left of the left foot. Transition forward, weight on the left leg. Extend and reach through the right leg. Open the chest and the hips to the right. See if you can lift the right leg a little bit higher. One more. Right arm now reaches forward, bicep along your ear. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, extend. And exhale, lower the right hand down, square the hips and the chest to the floor. Standing split. Reach the left, the right leg up to the sky. Up, up, up. One more breath. Step the right foot far back on your mat. Plant the hands down, extend the left leg back. If you want, option for that three-pointed plank here and hold. One more inhale. Exhale, option for three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Let's come forward again, plank pose. Lower down on your forearms. Let's find a side plank on the forearms. So turn to the left as you drop the heels to the right. Right forearm turns to the left a little bit. Extend the left arm up to the sky. Breathe. Again, you have the option to stack the feet if you want. Two breaths. One more. Back to center, other side. Heels drop to the left. Left forearm turns to the right slightly. Extend the right arm up, side plank. Option, stacking the feet. Three breaths. Good job, and come back to center. Let's drop the hips for a moment. Sphinx pose, lift up through the chest again. Lower your chest down, bend your knees, reach back for the feet. If you want the outsides or insides of the feet, up to you. And we'll lift up for both bow pose. So kick back, engage the glutes and the quads, lift the legs up off the floor, lift your chest. Three breaths. Release with control. Lower down. 
release the legs. Final challenge, and then we are done. So we'll find dolphin pose. So come on your forearms, come on to a forearm plank, and then walk your feet towards your elbows. So it's like a downward dog on the forearms, essentially. So you walk your feet towards your elbows, as close as you can get them. If you need to bend the knees because of the hamstring tightness, perhaps, that's totally cool. Just do what you need to. We'll breathe here for five breaths. If you have forearm um, stand or pincha in your practice, you can take it here. If you want to work towards it, you can extend one leg up to the sky. Breathe. See if you can come onto the, the ball of the other foot that is still on the floor. And lower that leg down. Other side, lift the, the other leg. If you are taking this option at all, two breaths. Lower the other leg down, and then we'll all come down. Lower the knees down, untuck the toes, sit the hips back, child's pose. One more breath here. Feel the heat, feel your heart beat. Notice the energy in your body. And slowly come up. Well done, you did it. This was it for today, a short but powerful flow. And I hope you build up a bit of sweat and you feel good in your body. Thank you so much for practicing with me and I hope to see you again on the mat. Bye.